Okay, hello everybody. Welcome to the Tulane School of Professional Advancement and the Kinesiology Program. My name is Lainey Dornier and I am the Program Director. Today we're going to talk about our Kinesiology Program and we have people here that will also talk about the support that we have for students, how to apply to the program, and some information about tuition and fin financial aid. And at the end, we'll leave, question, we'll leave time for questions and answers. If you do have questions during the, uh, during the broadcast, you can also uh, chat messages to us. Okay, as I mentioned, I'm Lainey Dornier, the program director. We also have Dan, Dan. Yeah, hi, I'm Dan Ray. I'm the senior academic advisor at Tulane School of Professional Advancement, and I handle the undergraduate kinesiology programs in health and wellness and exercise science. Thanks, Dan. So we're gonna start off with a brief overview of our school. Um, Tulane University was founded in 1834 as the Medical College of Louisiana. It offered its first continuing education classes in 1886 and has demonstrated a commitment to adult learners to the present day, pretty much for over 130 years. Um, our school was founded as the outreach division of Tulane with a mission to offer courses to teachers. And while our offerings have greatly expanded and changed over time, our focus on program relevant programs, excuse me, what relevant to working adults has remained. Students um, are able to attend uh, full-time or part-time, depending you know, on your work schedule and everything else you may have going on in your life. Usually, uh, students will take between two and three classes, two classes, six credit hours is also uh, the minimum required for financial aid purposes. And so if, you know, in your opening semester, I always have students starting off with probably two classes, especially if they've been out of school for a while, just so they don't get too overwhelmed in the process of balancing, you know, your life, your work, and going to school at night as well. Um, the courses are offered in a couple of different, two different formats, pretty much. We have online courses for our programs, and we also have courses on the campus. Um, since we cater to working adults, our classes are all offered generally once a week at night from 6 to 8.40 p.m. at the Elmwood campus and also at the Uptown at the main campus and the various different uh, school buildings there. Um, you can do a combination of online and on-campus courses and depending on the semester and the major or program, you know, you may find a class you need and it's online one semester and it may offer it in the classroom the next semester. Um, and then, yeah, as I mentioned, day, night, and weekend classes are available. There are daytime classes available, but generally not for the majors itself. Uh, that is more for um, to take some of your general education requirements that you are going to have for your degree. And so um, you, if most of our students work um, during the day, so we don't get too many that take the daytime classes, but if you have a different schedule, then you'll certainly be able to take some during the day. And then those major courses are gonna be at night or online. All right. And so I'll pass it off to Dr. Dornier here. Okay, so kinesiology is actually the study of human movement by definition. What we do here at Tulane University's kinesiology program is we offer kinesiology from a broad scope. So we look at both health and wellness in the healthcare industry and also kind of exercise science and uh, also sports studies. And we'll talk about those degree programs in a, in a little bit. We also have certificate programs in uh, the sports studies program and we have certificate programs in health and wellness at the, at the graduate level. Uh, we have classes in sports, nutrition, fitness and wellness, weight control, stress management, community health, preventative, and control of diseases, as well as several other courses. The first program I'm gonna talk about is our Master of Professional Studies in Health and Wellness. The Master of Professional Studies in Health and Wellness provides graduate students with a broad range of information about health and wellness. It's a 30-hour master's degree program. It requires students to take five required core courses and then also five, they have to select five courses from a, a list of elective courses. 
So in all, it's 30 hours. The careers that for students in the health and wellness field are things like on the slide, health promotion manager, a wellness director, an employee health director, a health communications director, or a wellness coach. These are just some of the careers that students with a degree in health and wellness might pursue. You can also go into other areas of wellness like working for a community wellness center or even a lot of organizations and industries are hiring wellness coaches or wellness managers to work with their employees because we know that people that are healthy are less likely to call in sick, they're less likely to get ill, and they're more likely to stay in their job longer. So a lot of corporations are hiring people to work with their employees in this way. We also offer the Master of Professional Studies in Sports Studies. This is a new program for us. As with the Master's in Health and Wellness, this is a 30-hour master's degree program. But this is a, program is a little bit different. This is a stackable certificate program. So students can either take the certificate, which is four classes in sport administration, sport coaching, or sports security, We'll have a new certificate program that's been approved that will be offered next year in uh, sports medicine also. So each certificate program has four courses within it. If you want to pursue the master's degree in sports studies, you choose two of the certificate programs. So that would be eight classes, four in each certificate program, plus an additional two core classes in research methods and in sport and society for a 30-hour master's degree program. And students that complete this degree may go into things like an athletic director, a coaching, uh, somebody that wants to go into coaching, somebody that wants to work in sport management, or somebody that might wanna work in events security or even event management. This is a very fast growing field looking at sports. We know that sports is a major uh, business influence in our society. And so there are more and more jobs coming out in these, in these fields. We also offer two bachelor's degree programs. We offer a Bachelor of Arts in Health and Wellness and a Bachelor of Science in Exercise Science. The Bachelor of Arts in Health and Wellness, as with our master's degree, offers a broad perspective of health and wellness, focusing on things like nutrition, personal fitness, health evaluation, risk behaviors, and healthy behavior changes. The Bachelor of Science and Exercise Science provides students with the foundation in the biomechanics, physiology, and the psychological aspects of physical activity. The Exercise Science program is really set up for students that might want to go into allied health programs like physical therapy, occupational therapy, or physician's assistants. Both of them, our undergraduate bachelor's programs require students to complete 120 credits, and that includes 30 hours in the major for health and wellness and 40 hours in the major in exercise science. And when we talk about in the major, we're talking about kinesiology specific coursework. We also offer a four plus one program for the health and wellness. So a student in the undergraduate health and wellness that knows that they may want to go in and finish a, a master's degree upon completion of their bachelor's degree can enter our four plus one program. And this allows students in their, they declare it in their junior year, and then in their senior year, they can take graduate coursework that also counts for their undergraduate major. So it kind of gives them a head start on their graduate program. The, uh, we also offer graduate and post back certificates. The, uh, as I mentioned, the, graduate, the master's degree in sports studies has three graduate certificate programs in sport administration, sport security, and sport coaching with a sport medicine up and coming. And then we also offer one post back certificate in health and wellness. The post back certificate in health and wellness, you do have to have completed a bachelor's degree to complete to sit for the or to to complete the the post back certificate in health and wellness. All right, so 
We also, as one of the ways to earn credit towards your degrees, um, we have credits for prior learning. And it's a way to reduce your tuition and earn your degree a little more quickly um, by using some of your professional experiences. Um, the credit can be applied towards a bachelor's degree and a mass or a master's degree, depending on what you're pursuing. Um, it counts as transfer credits. Um, we can award that, excuse me, credit for prior learning can be awarded for learning outside of the classroom. So if you have any work experience in a certain area, um, community service, those types of things, what happens is you can do a portfolio assessment, which is mentioned below, where you learn, where you take that class as an elective, you learn how to put together a portfolio, and then you submit that for, to be approved to, uh, for credit. Um, and then it gets evaluated and looked at by expert, you know, industry faculty in that particular area, whatever you're trying to get the credits for. And then if it's approved, then, you know, then we'll just, then you, you can add that um, to your degree uh, requirement and uh, will not need to, you know, spend a whole semester in a class that you already are um, very familiar with. Um, we offer uh, credit for your military training. And also, if you are, you know, a policeman, firefighter, uh, EMS certified and did any of those trainings, you can get up to 12 credits for those as well. Um, undergraduate students can get a total of 24 credits through uh, up to 24 credits through the portfolio assessment that I mentioned through credit by examination, which is CLEP and DSST exams. Those are exams that you go through the college board for, with to sign up for, give yourself time to study for them. And then we have a list of them on our website, which ones we accept. We don't accept all of them. But, uh, and then if you take those exams and you pass them, then you can get credit for those as well. And uh, the way these works as, long, as well as all of your outside transfer credits is they all count as transfer credit and credit. And the only credit that counts towards your GPA at Tulane is the credit you complete at Tulane. So I always get asked that question a lot of times. But um, in addition to your transfer credits, if you attended another school or if you haven't, then Credits for prior learning is a good way to, um, to speed up you know, the completion of your degree program, whether you're an undergraduate or whether you are a graduate student. And so yeah, the graduate students, since the programs are only 30 credits versus 120, for those you're only gonna be able to get a maximum of six credits through the portfolio assessment process. And so one of the things here that uh, we have for students is uh, student support and success. Uh, we want to, as academic advisors, be your navigator and guide, so to speak, along the way through your um, path to receiving your degree and um, assist you as necessary, meet with you every semester, speak over the phone, talk by email, whichever you prefer to, you know, get the necessary guidance you need so that you, uh, have the tools in place, you know, to, uh, to, to, to complete your degree. Um, our faculty are generally all adjuncts with industry experience. So all of the faculty in our health and wellness in our kinesiology programs are all directly in the field, um, whether they're working, you know, at hospitals like Oshner or um, in other areas, you know, of health and wellness and kinesiology. Um, they bring that knowledge firsthand to the classroom so you can apply it, you know, in the real world as well. And so um, that's always been one of our strong points, I believe, is uh, the faculty that are in that area directly um, being able to bring that directly to the students in the classroom or in the online classes as well. Um, when you get close to graduating or whenever you're thinking about, well, what am I gonna do after this, you know, then there's also career advising. Uh, Cynthia Washington is our career advisor and, you know, she can sit with you to, if you need help with your resume or you're trying to, you wanna do a career test or, you know, any of those basic things or um, we have, you know, the necessary uh, folks here in um, the student support and success office to, uh, to, to help guide you guys through and, uh, um, and complete your degrees. Um, lastly, um, the network of adults and alumni at Tulane is great. Um, I've several times heard faculty um, promoting 
um, open, like they hear about jobs in the area and they've hired the students pretty much on, you know, from their classrooms basically. So it's a really good way to network and meet people. And then once you're an alumni of Tulane, you know that is a very big and strong um, um, alumni support network. And um, those are uh, key, uh, I think, especially the networking side in you know, finding jobs down the road once you get your degree, pro, um, degree completed, that is. As far as application process and applying, uh, pretty straightforward. Um, we have an application at our website, sopa.tulane.edu. You click on the apply button at the top, you create your account, you fill out all the um, um, account information. There's a $40 application fee, 50 for graduate, but anyone attending the webinar today, that fee is, or anyone here today will have that fee waived. Um, you need to upload a government ID, like your driver's license or something. Um, and then if you attended college in the past, then we're going to need an official transcript sent directly from each prior institution that you attended. If you have not attended college in the past, then we are going to need either generally your uh, copy of your diploma, which you can just take a picture of and upload usually, or a copy of your GED scores or official copy of your high school transcript showing that you know you have at least high school or equivalent. And so then once all those um, documents are received and your application is processed, you know, then you are would be admitted accordingly and then you would link up with your advisor. I'm the advisor for all the undergraduate students, Michaela Williams. He's our advisor for the graduate students in the kinesiology programs. And then, you know, we would, you know, begin looking at your transfer credits, if any, and basically get you to start scheduling classes and any other basic needs, you know, you have. If you're going to do financial aid, um, there will be, once you go through that process, there will be a financial aid advisor assigned to you. And then, you know, you will work out all the financial side of things with the financial aid advisor. And then the academic advisor, uh, we would be the ones, you know, to guide you. Um, to taking the courses and, and, and completing your degree. And then once you apply, you know, any of our main offices at the Uptown or Elmwood campus can answer your admissions related questions. So if you haven't heard anything or you're wanting to check on the status of your application, uh, you can call any of those numbers. It's 504-865-5555 or 5333. All right, so application deadlines are generally two weeks before the semester starts. Uh, so for summer, the deadline's May 15th. Uh, for fall, it's August 15th. And for spring, it is January 1st. Those are the last days to go online and submit the application. So if we're still waiting on a transcript and we haven't received it by then, then that's okay. We just wanna make sure it gets there soon. Um, but otherwise, uh, get your applications in. Um, you know, before those deadlines, summer and fall, you can already apply for now. We're already processing a lot of those as well. And next we'll have uh, tuition and financial aid. So you'll see the summer uh, tuition for 2020, and I believe that's for the fall too, but it's $474 per credit, which comes out to just over $1,400 per three credit hour class. And then the graduate credits are 1,039 per credit. So it comes out to just over 3,100 for a three credit hour class. Um, as far as uh, financial aid, as I mentioned earlier, um, we do offer financial aid packages to help pay for the educational um, cost for those students who do qualify. You can go to the financial aid website. They have a prospective SOPA students tab there. It's pretty straightforward website. It's just financialaid.tulane.edu. You hover over the SOPA box and then there's a current and prospective students tab. It has a list of what you all, a checklist basically of what you need to do to start the financial aid process and then work with them to see what you're all eligible for, if there's any grants or Pell grants or things like that. Um, federal grants, federal loans are the types of aid available. And then also, um, if you are active duty military, if you are a veteran, if you're a teacher or a Jefferson or Orleans Parish employee, then there's also um, discounts available um, to you as well um, as far as tuition um, is concerned. That is pretty much it. 
if anyone has any questions for either myself or Dr. Dornier or just general question admissions related, uh, feel free to ask now. Um, the chat box is open. Um, thank you all for those of you, excuse me, thank you all for those who have attended and um, let us know, you know, if you have any questions or need anything, we're a quick call away and um, here to guide you and uh, hopefully talk to you soon. Okay, it doesn't look like there are any questions. Okay, so if you know anything does come up, no questions right now, please contact our admissions director, Sheila Gold. Their contact information is there, sgold at tulane.edu or 504 865 5333. That is our main office at Elmwood, or you can call 5555 as well. That is the main office uptown. Okay, I see uh, someone has a question here. So she's, uh, Joe is gonna be typing us a question here and uh, well, I guess we'll wait for that. While we're waiting for that question, I'll also remind people that both of our master's degree programs, the master's in health and wellness management, as well as the master's in sports studies are completely online programs. Um, the undergraduate programs are not completely online. We do have some classes that are offered online, but not all of them. And some of the classes that are offered online are also offered on ground some semesters. So, and that's only kinesiology classes. All of the general education classes are not offered online and only kinesiology. And Joe says, typing a question, but we haven't seen it. You can unmute yourself and ask it also, I believe. There it goes. Yep. So Joe's asking about that, um, that she has some outstanding uh, a balance at her previous school and should she wait till that's paid off to before applying and the answer is you can apply however until you have to be in good standing from the previous university all previous universities that you've attended before you can enroll in any of our courses so you can certainly start the application process but we have to have a transcript from the university that shows you're in good standing and sometimes a university won't release a transcript if you have a balance there or if you have any issues at the previous university. So we would just have to wait till that was released to, before you would be allowed to enroll in coursework. Any other questions people might have? All right, thank you and everyone have a wonderful day and we hope to see you at Tulane. Oh. Yep, that's it.